If you clicked on this video, then you're likely in the market to learn more about how to deal with anxiety and hopefully to get some helpful, quick, easy tips to utilize to manage anxiety or just manage daily stress levels. But first and foremost, it is actually really important to understand the why of anxiety. Why do we experience it? Why is it so uncomfortable and come with all of those different physical sensations that can be really scary if we don't know why we are experiencing them. So if you haven't already watched the videos that are in my Anxiety 101 series, I'm gonna leave that link here for you. So before diving further into this video, go ahead and check those out so you can really understand what anxiety is, where it's coming from, and why it's so uncomfortable. story short, anxiety is our body's innate protective mechanism. And all of those pesky, uncomfortable sensations that come along with anxiety, yeah, they have a biological purpose to protect us. And because anxiety is our innate protective mechanism, if your hope is to completely eliminate anxiety from your life, you are likely going to be fighting an uphill battle. With that being said though, there are a number of different techniques, strategies, routines that we can practice and implement every single day that really help us to feel calm and just in control of our life without being disturbed or disrupted by anxiety. So today I'm gonna to be covering five therapist approved simple, effective, proven techniques so you know how to manage your anxiety and deal with daily stress levels. My last tip that I'm going to share with you today comes with a special discount code. So make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss out on extra savings. But don't worry, all except for that last tip are completely free. They won't cost you anything. Okay, now for the tips. Tip number one is to limit I hate this just as much as you guys do because I love coffee. Caffeine can really be a great tool for a jolt of energy and just focus concentration when we really need it. The downside of caffeine is that it can lead to those physical sensations that are not super comfortable that also kind of mimic anxiety. We're talking rapid heart rate, jitteriness, nervousness, sweating, busy thoughts, those types of things. The problem is often not that caffeine can lead to these symptoms, but that we can maybe misinterpret them as being anxiety. And if we are engaging in something called emotional reasoning, then if we experience this and we say, oh my gosh, maybe I'm feeling anxious right now, something must be wrong, it can kind of just put us into a vicious downward spiral. We may even experience a bit of panic if we feel these things and we try to calm our body down and it just doesn't feel like it's working. My professional suggestion would be to just listen to your body. Take a few minutes to reflect the next time that you do ingest caffeine and see how you feel. If you feel totally normal, okay, cool, no worries. If you feel a bit anxious or any of those other symptoms that we were talking about, rapid heart rate, jitteriness, nervousness, any of that, then maybe it's time to cut back a little bit on caffeine. Maybe that looks like ingesting less throughout your day. Maybe you sub fully caffeinated coffee for half caffeinated coffee or completely going on the decaf route. Really what you're doing is asking yourself, how do I feel when I put this into my body? If the answer is I feel great, totally fine, no worries, okay, that's some data. But on the flip side, if you feel kind of crappy after having caffeine or coffee or whatever, whatever caffeine supplement that you choose, then that's data too. And you can take that into consideration and make choices or decisions or changes from there. Tip number two is to move your body regularly. I have a whole video on this. I will link it here for you. Regular exercise has so many benefits. I think we all know this to some degree. One of those benefits is that exercise helps us to physically release any excess cortisol that has been building up in the body from unprocessed stress. When we experience any type of stress, this can be as simple as getting a text message that says we need to talk. This sets off a whole host of systems in the body to maintain our health and safety. The only problems here come when we don't deal with the stress in some way or if we don't intentionally remind the body, the brain, that we are safe. Doing something as simple as a daily 15 minute walk can go a long way in helping us to regulate our nervous system and to decrease just daily stress levels and daily anxiety levels. 
Tip number three is to engage in calming or relaxing strategies every single day. One of the not so well-known facts about anxiety is that our daily routines can really impact the anxiety levels that we experience every day. When we engage in calming and relaxing activities throughout our day and even throughout our week, every time we do this, we're basically intentionally telling our body, we're telling our brain that we are safe. When our brain feels safe, our fear centers actually become less active and our nervous system becomes more regulated. This means that we feel less anxiety on a daily basis and that we can calm ourselves down quicker when we do feel anxiety. I will leave a couple links down in the description for examples of just general calming activities or routines that you can engage in. Tip number four is to improve your sleep. Getting seven hours or less of sleep has been linked to a number of health concerns, including both anxiety and depression. So that eight hour recommendation really isn't coming out of thin air. It's proven by data, so maybe we should listen to it. If we can get those recommended eight hours of sleep every single night, this will impact basically every bodily function. A few ways that you can improve the quality of your sleep and just getting enough sleep can be by setting a regular bedtime as well as a regular wake time, maybe even creating a calming bedtime routine, using a aromatherapy style pillow spray to really promote some deep relaxation before bed, and of course limiting some screen time a few hours before sleep. I did a whole video a while ago about sleep and sleep routines and all that good stuff, so I will leave that here for you. And last but not least, tip number five is to try out some calming natural remedies. There are so many types of herbal remedies, minerals, and regular supplements out there that have been proven to calm anxiety, decrease stress levels, and promote deep relaxation. If you struggle at all with insomnia, then any of these options we're gonna talk about here in the next couple of minutes could be super beneficial for promoting deeper relaxation. A few herbal remedies that have been proven to calm the mind and calm the body include saffron, valerian root, rhodiola, lavender, chamomile, and ashwagandha. These can be found in herbal teas. They can also be found in essential oils or any pillow sprays like I mentioned before. And they can also be found in different supplements. You may have also heard about the amazing calming effects of magnesium. Magnesium is a powerful mineral that you can find in foods as well as supplements that really has a calming effect throughout the entire body and even a muscle relaxant effect. So as I said before, if you're looking to incorporate some natural herbal remedies into your daily routine in hopes of decreasing stress levels, you might look out for herbal teas that are completely caffeine free, essential oils that you can use for aromatherapy, different calming pillow sprays like I mentioned for deeper sleep, as well as some clean supplements. As far as the supplement side goes, you might look out for some products that are made by Extend Life. They make a product called Serene Saffron, which has been shown to restore a sense of calmness and positive well-being. Extend Life also has a super affordable magnesium supplement called Marine Magnesium, which has been shown to help promote longer sleep. I have recently become affiliated with Extend Life, so you can now get 15% off your first purchase with the code wellness15. All right, you guys, those are all the tips that I have for you today, but I would love to hear how these go for you, which ones you wanna try. So please keep me posted down in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Take care.